So the next word is erotic, erotic, E-R-O-T-I-C. I often use the term erotic to describe the spiritually binding quality of a coming into connection, as in the binding quality of human relations during the rising period of a social movement. Because in these moments the bonds among people can properly be described as loving or manifesting loving energy, it is appropriate to call them erotic, whether or not they have a sexual character or aura. But I do not use the term in an explicitly sexual way. So erotic means binding, the binding energy. If you go back to my example of the bank, the energy is really flat. Everybody's separated from everybody else, waiting online to get their money out of the bank. And uh, the whole thing is, is a processed form of separation, really. No vibes at all. Nothing's happening in the bank, except the metallic feel of everyone behaving in role. But in <laughs> when the bank is liberated <laughs> in the future... That process of the liberation of the bank, of the, th of the theatrical event we might create there, creates a bond between people, a spark between people that is a, a binding energy, and I describe that as erotic, because erotic actually means binding together. 